<laughs> we are having so much fun as we always do. Uh, with us now is Yvonne Schultz, and she is the creator of the new version of Herbie's Crumb Cake. She has an incredible story with challenges that she's overcome from being an infant all the way up until her wonderful success that she is today. I know you're going to love her as much as I do and as much as you're going to love her crumb cake. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me here. Oh my gosh. We met at this wonderful luncheon. Um, mm -hmm through networking and mm -hmm. I heard about your story and I said please come on the show you are the epitome of the stories we love to tell thank you so can you talk to us a little bit about the fact that well let's just start with the fact that you went through the foster system so mm -hmm. at uh, was it 15 months you were given up for adoption 15 months my okay. mom gave me up and um, handed me over to the New York Foundling Hospital in Manhattan I lived there for about a year and a half and then I went to go live in a foster home. And at um, five years old, I stayed there till, I always thought that was my parents, till one day a lady said to me, you don't have a mom and a dad no more. Um, you are in the foster care system. And I went to go live in another foster home, stayed there for a few more years. And one day, my mom and my dad um, went to the New York Foundling Hospital and it said they wanted to adopt a little girl and they put a hundred pictures on the table and they chose me because of my smile. And so you had that one out of a hundred beautiful smile mm -hmm. and they chose you. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and back then, you know, people were adopting infants. It, you, so you were adopted later on in your life. Yes. Um, I was eight and a half when I went to go live with them, and later on we learned that at 18 my mom wanted me back so I could work and provide for her. Your biological mother? My biological mom. Okay. It took mom and dad 10 years in the court system to finally um, get custody of me, and it was two weeks before my 18th birthday that they were granted. So that was a really um, special day. An amazing day for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the reason that you named the crumb cakes, Herbie's crumb cakes, is after your dad. Yes, I named it after him. After living in an orphanage and foster homes, you just don't have sweets ever. Um, I remember eating mayonnaise sandwiches, um, Cheerios, and when I went to their home, that was always on the kitchen table was Entenmann's, and I remember taking the crumbs off it, and Dad would say to me, that's my crumb. <laughs> and we would sit there and argue about it. And it was later on in the 1980s when I worked in this company out east, and a woman bought in crumb cake one day, and I asked her for the recipe, and she said, I don't share my recipes with nobody. And I said, but you don't understand. My dad loves crumb cake, and I love to bake. She says, I'm sorry, I'm not sharing it with you. And it was later on, she came up to me and said, Yvonne, do you really want this recipe? And I said, yes, I do. I go, it's not for me, it's for my dad. She says, I will share it with you. And I started making crumb cakes at home. And it was later on in 2004 when I opened up a bakery and my dad helped me. We had to change the recipe, um, building bigger quantities of it. Mm -hmm. And six months later, he passed away. So six months after you decided to open up this crumb cake company with mm -hmm. your father, mm -hmm. he passed away. Correct. And that was another big challenge for you. Correct. What happened in that year? So it was um, seven years. I kept the bakery going and I had to close it. And I was led to work with the um, autism kids in the public school. That was another thing that my dad took on. Um, back in the 70s, he took in kids of all different nationalities, special needs. I was raised with a brother named Donald who was Down syndrome. We had another child that had autism, and that was one of his other passions, was taking kids in and giving them a good home. And I just didn't realize how much he taught me till now in my lifetime of the compassion and the love that he had, and he passed it on to me. And after working in the schools for a few years, it was put on my heart two years ago to go back into the baking industry, and I wanted to name the business after my dad and to honor him for all what he's done for us. He's a, a wonderful soul. I've heard a few stories from people to tell me mm -hmm. uh, what a great man he, he indeed was and, and still is in spirit. Correct. So it was put on your heart, as you said, to open this back up, and you did, and you employ people now with special needs. Correct. You're providing employment for them. Yes. How great is that? It's amazing. <laughs> and just to watch them 
come in and bake with me and how excited they are. And it's a win-win in both situations. So you needed to find another place to, to have this. So you went to, is it uh, Suffolk County or Stony Brook? Stony Tell us about that experience and that connection for you. So Stony Brook University has a small business administration up there. Um, I went to visit them, and they told me to go out to Calvertin. It's called Stony Brook Incubators. It is a commercial kitchen that you rent space from, and it allows you to be a wholesale distributor to put your product out there to see if you have a product that people will enjoy eating. And it's been such a great experience being in that facility now. And you have some new flavors. You have peanut butter cup, mm -hmm. you have key lime, and yeah. you saw what happened in the green room. My crew, <laughs> the, people, the new guest, everybody's like, crab cake. They're like, they're going mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. over just the way it looks, mm -hmm. right? And I've yes. told them, I said, hold on a second. You're going to get to eat the cake. But so tell us about um, what's happening now with all these beautiful flavors and all the retailers that you're working with. Your business is growing exponentially. Correct. So the business, um, I didn't realize how much the Long Island community loves crumb cake. And people <laughs> it was you, say, your dad, and now it's the whole community, right? The whole communities. <laughs> oh, people will email me, call me, um, and say to me, can you make you know, peanut butter? Can you do key lime? Can you do pineapple? And I never really thought of all these flavors. I just thought of original crumb cake, raspberry. And I said, all right, let me try it. And it's just been such a blessing out there. Um, providing these cakes for people and especially the little kids like seeing a three-year-old kid come over to the table when I'm selling at a farmer's market and saying hey grandpa we need this cake at home and it just gives me great joy to see the effects that people have on my crumb cake. I love the fact too that you said growing up you didn't really get that opportunity to have you know a sweet you were eating nothing but just like you said mayonnaise sandwiches cheerios nothing not that there's anything wrong with cheerios but mm -hmm. if that was all you were ever able to have and hear your parents your dad your mom full of love for you mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. it's just been such a wonderful journey and now you get to provide that same joy and happiness like you right. said to people coming to the farmers markets and mm -hmm. so how could people if they wanted to order a crumb cake and it wasn't at a retailer near them right now how could they order your product so I started a website. Okay. Um, I ship anywhere now across the U.S. I ship a lot down to North Carolina, Texas, Colorado's been reaching out to me. So it's a flat rate. Okay. Um, try to keep the shipping down for customers. Um, you could go on Facebook. I have a page. I'm always posting on there, and you could see the different farmers markets we're in. We're in four locations this season. Congratulations. And I'm in 40 locations across Long Island now today. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank and, you. And here you're going to be uh, at this location at the Live It Upset because <laughs> let there be crumb cake. Yes. Thank you so much, Yvonne, for Thank joining you. us. So, wishing you all the best and Thank so you. happy for your success. Thank you. Please stay tuned for more on Live It Up. We hope you love the stories that we've been bringing you. Um, Yvonne is just one example of a fantastic woman that's out there to make a difference. Thank you for watching.